Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. Ooh. I'm Juju. And this is going to be a timeless general love and life reading for Libra. Um, you could have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Libra, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. Um, roles, I guess, could be reversed, um, but don't go there immediately. Um, so what that means is this could be something you're doing or going on around you. This could be, you know, something that your person is doing, going on around them. This could be, you know, a family member, friend, coworker, boss, neighbor, something that they're doing or something that's going on around them and you happen to hear about it. This could even be, you know, something in your immediate environment, your town, your city, your overall community, even your neighborhood. You could also be getting um, affected by, you know, the weather, but also by um, any of the astrological transits. So definitely check out your chart and check out any of the astrological transits going on right now, okay? Um, also, stay towards the end of the reading. There's going to be a Libra versus all 12 zodiac signs towards the end of this video. Um, if you need or want to get a personal <clears throat> reading with me that is tailored specifically to your situation um, and, and or energy, my email is in the description box below. Also, if there's going to be an extended, the link to that will be in the description box below and the comment section below, okay? What else? Oh, sorry I wasn't able to get to the Freebie Friday um, last month. I will try to get that as scheduled as soon as possible for February. And I have some other things in store for you guys. Um, I'm not ready to announce just yet though, okay? <clears throat> I think that's it. Okay. So we're going to look at the current situation. What's going on? Oh, thank you, Spirit. This could be something from the past coming back around. Obviously, something currently going on. And please keep in mind, this can be something coming towards you in the near future. Um, my, um, so I've been told my readings can tend to be very future predictive. Okay. So we're going to look at the current situation. We're going to look at the root cause. We're going to look at the influence of the current situation. So that could be people, places, things, mindsets, emotions, anything in your environment, the astrological transits, really any, the universe, the divine spirit, your ancestors, your guides, that and that of your person um, as well. We're going to look at the immediate um, recent past, three months or less. Can go a little bit past that, but really three months or less. Then we're going to look at the immediate near future, which is three months or less, okay? All right, let's see what is going on. I feel like this might pertain to love, but it doesn't have to be. All right, how many shuffles? Two, okay. So one. And we're taking, okay, am I taking the jumpers? Two. Okay. No jumpers. Okay. Top or bottom? Top. Okay. All right. Current situation. We have the Ace of Swords in the upright. Clarity, truth, communication. The truth is being spoken in this reading. Um, you will have absolute clarity. This is Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. The answer is yes as well to whatever you are thinking. Okay. This could even be like an intense truth. Okay. What's the root cause? Queen of Wands in the upright. Vibrancy. Very attra att attractiveness. This is also, you're getting the truth about a competitive woman. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or there's a woman who's bringing you some type of truth. Or you're getting the truth about a fire sign female. Okay. This is also about being something. Something. Uh, truth is going to be spoken. It could be even very publicly. All right. What's the influence? The magician. Virgo, Gemini. Also Mercury. Um, so check out where your mercury placement is as well and see what's going on with that. I just heard be careful what you wish for. I feel like you guys manifested the truth and it's coming. Most recent past. 
the hangman reverse pisces energy in the recent past something was very stagnant something wasn't moving something was a very some you or somebody else or maybe both i feel like this is more about love was very stagnant not moving forward somebody was acting very negative or very detached from you give me one more for the recent past yeah seven of pentacles taurus uh virgo strong virgo or taurus something someone was acting very apathetic cold distant from you in the most recent past about making investments in the connection meet in your future three months or less Ooh. we got the seven of swords aquarius energy See, making a break for it some some in the near future three months or less you go from getting you're getting the truth clarity about somebody's deceit lies trickery being underhandedness um an enemy masquerading as a friend but you're also getting like someone you know someone cheating or stealing from you you're getting the truth about that what what else for the near future yep mm -hmm. 10 of cups somebody here was cheating on a marriage you could be married or someone was lying to you about being married it's either you're married and got cheated on or you're finding out that the person that you're with is married with children. And a lot of times the queen of wands can be seen as the other woman. But you manifested this truth. <coughs> also, there could be something about someone using magic to get what they want. I don't feel like that was you. I feel like that was this woman here. Okay. I feel like you manifested the truth in absolute clarity. The Ace of Swords is like absolute clarity. There's no denying it. There's no deflecting it. There's no lying about it. The truth is that somebody here is either cheating that's in a marriage. Now, obviously, cross watchers, this could be Libra doing this. Or someone was lying about being married. What is this Ace of Swords? Yep, Nine of Wands reverse, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here was being very reckless, arrogant. They were um, false promises in and out, a bit of a player. Some The truth is that somebody was a player that you're connected to, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right? They weren't giving any, they weren't investing in you. They stopped investing in you because they had a passion project. They were cheating and you could be married to them or they stopped investing in to you because they were giving, because you're, they were lying. They're actually married. Okay. So the queen of wands. Yep. The will of fortune. This other woman or this other person is getting their karma or they're trying to get karmic justice in the situation. I'm just going to say this. If they don't have receipts, if they don't have screenshots, photos, voice messages, emails, DMs, whatever, if they don't, if they can't produce receipts, then it didn't happen. You know, vet everything and everyone every time. Magician. Yep. Six of Wands reverse. More Leo energy here. This is somebody feeling disgraced. This is somebody who is um, a feels a lot of shame about what they've done because the truth is coming out here i mean and, and it's going to be absolutely clear but again don't just take somebody's word for it you have to see the evidence okay what else about the magician yep it's a leo strength card in reverse somebody acted like a bully or somebody here did something on Somebody here manifest somebody here is lacks the courage to be honest with you. They 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 lack the courage to be honest with you about what they feel shameful about. What is this hang yeah. But you're still getting the truth anyways. I think you would much rather hear it from them. To be honest with you, but I feel like even if you don't hear from them, it's, the truth is coming finding its way towards you. All right, hey man, reverse. Yep, three of wands in the reverse. Somebody here didn't lack the foresight. They were unrealistic. They were acting very arrogant, very selfish, very much a traitor. 
in the recent past, three months or less. Um, they, they had the lack of foresight to foresee that this could backfire in their face. The Seven of Pentacles. Yep, Knight of Swords Reverse. This person was out of control with what they were doing. Somebody came in to, to intentionally um, upset your plans for the future. Or somebody has done something that completely derails your plans for the future. With this person or this situation. Seven of Swords. Yep. King of Pentacles here. Somebody lie, is lying. There's a King of Pentacles here. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Who well, really could be any sign. But they're acting very... Um, Shysty, they they're lying to you. They're very much a risk taker. If this person told you the reason why they were acting so disconnected from you was because they had a lot going on with work, that was a lie. It's because they had someone else. Marriage, yep, full card reverse. Aries energy. Somebody here was acting careless, impulsive, reckless, um, like they didn't like they didn't have a wife or, or husband at home or children at home. Like they they literally just bad judgment, poor judgment on what they did. Knight of Wands reverse. Yep, Hierophant in the reverse. This may end up causing a um, a divorce if you're married to somebody. It could end up causing a divorce. If you're not married to this person and you're finding out that the person that you've been seeing, dating, whatever, you're finding out that they're married, you might end up telling their spouse and they end up in a divorce. Okay. Will of Fortune. Yep. Two of Wands in the reverse. This person made, this was a conscious choice or... Either this person made a conscious a conscious choice, or there's somebody the the other woman or other man, whatever the case is, whatever your preferences are, who's making a choice. To come forward. Show me the strength card reverse. Yeah, we have the nine of wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person could not refuse um, temptation. This person was very acting very stubborn, very arrogant, very um, defensive. This person took a very strong defensive stance on defending their lies. And that is coming to light. Three of Wands reverse. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This person does lack the foresight to see that they were juggling or... Um, risking their entire investment now we have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups somebody here whether that's your person whether you're the spouse or you're realizing the person you've been seeing talking to dating whatever hooking up with is actually married nine of swords reverse this person is very out of control yeah community here yeah this person acted out of control they were investing in rick uh you know reckless abandonment is what i'm hearing they were also investing in being very very petty very deceptive very um what's the word um a lot of gossip as well about a connection about a connection they were very hurtful this person you could be married to this person or what what have you and you were trying to invest in this and this person was being exceptionally disrespectful and hurtful king of pentacles nine of cups reverse pisces energy this person in the near future this is going to be like the shattering of a dream that you had with this person show me the full card reverse yep decision this person has divided loyalties they're on the fence about should they be single? Should they be in this marriage? Should they go towards a third party? Should they stay in this marriage? You see what I'm saying? I don't know where you fit into this. Show me the Hierophant. Go one more pass. Hierophant reverse. Yeah. Routine. This person was very slow to either offer commitment or very slow to um, bring the truth. But you're getting unexpected uh, communication. You need to be patient. 
Maybe time could heal this all wounds. Okay, two of wands reverse. Yep, justice. There you are. You will have justice here. And the people that did this will get what the, you know, they get what they've given. You're standing on this. Show me the Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, Four of Swords reverse. There's a lot of mental activity here. I feel like there's somebody who is like trying to find the mental strength to tell you what happened. Show me the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Now we have the King to the Queen of Pentacles. This person pretended or acted like they didn't have anybody at home. This person is very much worried about losing their... Um, stability. This person could have told people that you were very insecure, that you were, um, you neglect your responsibilities, whatever, right? But in reality, they talked a lot of crap, right? Because it was a way for them to justify what they were doing. Four of Wands. Yeah. Now we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. This person did not protect a marriage. I feel like you're married to this person, but it could, or in a long-term commitment with this person and or yeah, I feel like it's you who is with this person. And somebody here, the other woman or other mister is coming to, miss, you know, guy, whatever, is coming to you. So, yeah. They did not defend. They didn't invest properly and they did not defend this connection. They folded on their beliefs. They don't stand for anything. Show me the nine of cups in reverse, chariot reverse, cancer energy. Somebody here is forcing someone to tell you the truth, Libra, or this person's coming in to tell you the truth. It could even be aggressive the way it comes in. Someone could, um, a cancer could have been very like coerce this person or maybe was trying to um extort this person why is the two of swords here yep ten of wands in the reverse this person has to make a decision you got three tens you got the ten of pentacles ten of cups yeah you have the ten of pentacles the ten of cups and the ten of wands ten 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 something could be coming to an end or a cycle is going to close out. Tell me more. Yep. Six of cups in the reverse. This person could be returning back. They Maybe they dropped this third party. And now they're coming back to you. But this third party isn't done yet. They want, they're not done. They're going to come in with some type of information. Yeah. Yep. Light at the end of the tunnel. Truth is going to be coming out here. And then somebody here is going to be facing judgment. We have judgment and justice here and the will of fortune. This is a lot of karma. This is a very um, karmic or karma filled like situation. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like you're the one who's married. Or in, in a relationship with this person for a long period of time. And you're finding out that this person has been cheating on you. Point blank period. Give me one more on the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Com cycle is not complete. There's unfinished business here. It's going to be very disapp disappointing when you hear this. Yeah. That they made other offers elsewhere. Someone could also be lying to you about new offers coming in that they were making or coming in towards them or that they were making. And when you find this out, it's going to be, I mean, obviously it's going to be a huge deal. Show me the strength card reverse again. Yeah. The Empress, there you are, Taurus, Libra. This person does not have the courage to tell you the truth because of their shame. They did not protect this connection, but you have manifested. Magician with the Ace of Swords, you've manifested the truth. It's coming. Yeah. This person may not be in love with you anymore, or you maybe you might tell them you're not in love with them anymore. This part, you know that you know the truth. You know, you know, this person was very restrictive about how they were showing you love. And it wasn't because of anything you were doing. It was because of what they were hiding from you. What they were doing behind your back. Eight of swords. You know, five of, five of cups reverse. This is like needing to move on. Um, accepting help. Maybe this person has an addiction. Maybe they're going to want forgiveness. They've been up in their head about how to reveal this truth to you. And how to ask for forgiveness. But here's the thing though, Libra. There can be no forgiveness without accountability. Right? Yeah. 
you are getting some type of bad news. This person has rejected a third party here. Yep, two of Pentacles first. They've dropped them. That third party does not like that. And now they're coming back to you. But this can also talk about because they dropped this third party. Basically, they have ignited a chain of events. This third party is not happy about this. Right? And so now they feel like the only way that they can get this person to come back to them is if you're no longer in the picture and as if you know the truth. This is someone, there's trouble coming. Trouble is on its way. And someone's going to feel like they jumped out of the frying pan and straight into the fire. Yep, lovers. They have a choice. They had a choice for quite some time. Could be, could be a Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Sagittarius. Obviously, you Libra, you know, Aries. Show me this lovers. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. This person was acting single when they are very much not single. They were acting exceptionally reckless. But you're getting the truth. Could also be an Aquarius that's coming in to tell you the truth about something. I feel like you're going to take a very logical approach. It's going to sting. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's going to sting. But you're taking a more logical approach here. Okay. Um, I'm going to move on to your you versus them, all zodiac signs. But do I need to take this into the extended? They said yes. Okay. What are we looking at then? Okay. They want to. Okay. So in the extended, I'm going to see what's going to happen. Is this going to end in divorce if you are, in fact, married or in a long-term commitment? Is this going to end up breaking up? What's going to happen? I'm going to see the actual final outcome in the extended, okay? Potential final outcome, okay? In the extended. Let's see. All right. If Spirit, please show me Libra versus all 12 zodiac signs. Please show me Libra versus all 12 zodiac signs. Aries to Pisces, please, Spirit. Please show me Libra versus all 12 zodiac signs. Aries to Pisces. One more shuffle. Okay, let me cut the deck. Okay. Whew. So, Libra, if you're dealing with an Aries, ooh, they got it hot for you very attracted to you you're very attracted to them if you're dealing with the taurus knight of wands reverse um libra this taurus is playing you okay if you're dealing with a gemini you make them very very happy we got a lot of leo energy coming out make them very very happy um they want they want to be very clear with you if you're dealing with a gemini they want things to move forward with you they want to be happy with you okay or there's a gemini libra who's coming towards you with the truth and clarity what is the sun about? Yep. Hierophant reverse. That somebody here has not been acting loyal and or committed or both in a connection. If you're done with a cancer, okay, five of swords in reverse. There's no no more mind games here with a the cancer. There's You're not even fighting with them anymore. You don't care. Why? Yep. Because you have the truth about, they know that you know the truth. They know that you know the truth. They can't fight against the truth. This can also even be a lawyer or an attorney or... Or someone taking a very logical approach. This can even be you can't this cancer can't fight the truth. If you're dealing with a Leo. Alright, yeah. Eight of Pentacles here. This person wants to work on things with you. Yeah, justice. Yep, that's you. They want to bring they want to work towards um, fairness. They want to work towards um, equality. They want things to balance out. Now, this Leo could also be working on their own karma. So if you've been dealing with a Leo that's been doing something, they're working on balancing out their karma. Why? Yeah, the world card in the reverse. Because they something's been left open-ended. This person needs to tie... If you're dealing with a Leo, they need to tie up some type of loose ends here. But also, too, they don't want a cycle to close out with you, Libra. If you are dealing with a Virgo, they are up in their head. Why? Yeah, about what they want. Or they're up in their head, or they have been up in their head about overindulging in something that they shouldn't have overindulged in. What did they overindulge in? A Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces. Okay, and they've been stuck in their head about this. And there's truth and clarity that's coming. 
about this. All right, if you're dealing with a, another Libra, this is you, Ace of Swords Reverse. You know someone's been lying to you, and it's a big lie. You know somebody has been lying to you with Ace of Swords Reverse, and it's a huge lie. What's this huge lie about? Yep, Nine of Wands Reverse. Somebody here is lying to you, and it's a massive lie, and they're very defensive about this. They get very defensive anytime you try to talk to them about it. What about? Yep. But their recklessness, their carelessness, they're throwing caution to the wind. Okay. If you're done with the Scorpio, they want to offer, come in and maybe offer you an apology or they do want to offer love to you, um, Libra. They want to unburden themselves with something. Yeah, you manifest, you're, this person, man, this person wants to, they have all the tools that they need to work things out with you or you, them, but they want, they have, like, they, they want to give you an apology. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, there's a Scorpio that wants to come in and give you an apology or Libra, you have an apology to give to a Scorpio. Okay. And there could be a, a Virgo Gemini that is involved in this as well. Someone doesn't want to manipulate anymore, either you or them. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, Queen of Swords reverse, this person is very dishonest, very cold and apathetic. Okay, why? Yep, because they haven't moved on from the past yet. Why? Yep, they don't want you to see this. They don't feel like this is their wish fulfillment with you if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Three of Pentacles in reverse, you guys are not on the same page right now. They have the reason why you're not on the same page with a Capricorn and Libra is because they have betrayed you multiple times and it may be coming to an end. Yep, because you're going to get full clarity here with the Seven of Cups reverse. Or Libra, you're helping a Cap a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus bring clarity to to a Scorpio about being betrayed. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, yeah, they're really, they're on their spiritual path. They're going within to try to figure out what they want. What about, yeah, about commitment or stability? Why? Yep, the will of the year. They want good luck. They want good fortune. They want to move things forward with you, but they got to go in within first to see what it is that they want. If you are dealing with, what does I say, Aquarius? Yeah. If you're dealing with a Pisces, yeah, Knight of Pentacles reverse, this person is exceptionally disloyal. Why? And they're trying to escape it. They're trying to escape what they've done without accountability of their disloyalty. Yep. They're trying to let this go so they can move forward. Why? Because they don't want to reap what they've sown. They don't want they don't want the karma. Mm -mm. They don't want the karma. But you can't escape it, right? Okay, so there's that. Now let me do your um scrabble tiles. And then we'll get you some guidance. And then I'm going to go into the extended because I want to see how is this going to end. Um, is this going to be the end of the connection? Um, how is the truth going to come to you? Um, and by who? You see what I'm saying? Let's see. All right. Let's see. What do we got? What do you got for Libra? So this could be some, uh, this could be first, middle, last initial of your name, your person's name, whomever else may be involved's name. Also additional messages. What do you got for Libra, please? Libra. All right. Here we go. I get a lot. Let me just turn them over real fast. All right. First letter is M. U. X. G. E. A. D. B, I, U, R, Y, A, E, H, N, B, L, A, and N. Okay. All right. 
guidance. All right, guidance, please, for Libra regarding this reading, please. Guidance, please, for Libra regarding this reading. Ooh, okay. Hold your vision. There's something that you need to stay focused. You just need to stay focused, okay? The truth is coming, yeah. Your dreams in a practical plan. Put your plans, um, your dreams, like, start planning things. What else, please? And then you also have adjustments are required. Somebody here, need, somebody's somebody's dreams and plans, there's going to be an, a, 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 like a shift in that once this truth is revealed. What else, please? Because I feel like it's coming towards you. Yeah. And it's going to ask you, what do you need to release? Yep. So your dreams and, and vision is going to shift. Okay. Because adjustments are required and you're going to be asked, what do you need to release when you get this truth? You manifested the truth that's coming. All right. Well, Libra, that has been your reading. I'm definitely going to check out in the extended anything else you need to know, how it could potentially end, how you're going to find out this truth. Okay. For some of you, you might be delivering this truth to somebody. Okay. Anywho, well, I love you, Libra. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Link to the extended is in the description box and comment section below. I love you, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.